In this module, you will learn about respiration in human beings. How do human beings respire? In human beings, air is drawn into the body through the nostrils. Nostrils are lined with fine hairs and mucus that filter the air as it passes through. Next, the air travels through the throat and then moves through a pipe called trachea. Trachea contains cartilaginous rings that ensure smooth flow of air into the lungs. From here, the air passes through the bronchi before entering the lungs. The bronchi are like a network of tubes that keep branching into smaller tubes called bronchioles. At the end of each bronchiole, you will find balloon-like structures called alveoli. The alveoli provide a surface for the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. The walls of the alveoli contain a massive network of blood vessels. When we breathe in, we lift our ribs and flatten our diaphragm. As a result, the chest cavity becomes larger. Air gets sucked into the lungs and fills the expanded alveoli. The oxygen in the alveolar air is taken in by the red blood cells in the alveolar blood vessels. The oxygen in the red blood cells is then transported to all the cells in the body. The cells in turn release carbon dioxide, which diffuses into the blood and is then released into the alveoli. In large animals, like elephant, it is difficult for oxygen to reach all parts of the body through diffusion. Hemoglobin a respiratory pigment present in red blood cells has high affinity for oxygen. This pigment binds with oxygen from the air in the lungs and forms oxyhemoglobin. Later, through oxyhemoglobin, oxygen is distributed to all the tissues in the body. The tissues in turn release carbon dioxide which diffuses into the nearby blood capillaries. Carbon dioxide is more soluble in water than in oxygen. Therefore, carbon dioxide is generally transported through blood as bicarbonate, which is its dissolved form. In this module, you learned that air enters a human body through the nostril. It moves through the throat and then the trachea. From the trachea, it enters the bronchi and then goes into the lungs. The bronchi form a network of tubes known as bronchioles. Each bronchiole has alveoli at the end. Hemoglobin absorbs oxygen from the air in the lungs and carries it to tissues all over the body.